Okay, as promised, we're gonna be looking at notifications in applications. So, first of all, we're gonna be broadcasting through three channels. First of all, the emails, second, the broadcasting uh, in real time, and also to our database. So, let's set up firstly our email broadcasting channel. So, we're gonna be using a service called MailTrap, and this service is simply for safe email testing. So, it means our application is gonna be sending out emails, but in practical, no email is gonna be going out. So the emails are simply gonna be trapped right here. So go ahead, it's free, sign up for an account and go to your inbox and get into the demo inbox and copy your username and password and insert it into your .env file to set up the email, to set up MailTrap. So we're gonna be using SMTP and it's gonna be used by default mailtrap.io and you put in your username and your password. So that should be it for the mail driver. The second driver that we're gonna be using is the pusher driver. So we are gonna be broadcasting in real time. So go ahead, sign up for an account. They have a free plan. As soon as you sign up for an account and you're, and you're logged in, you go ahead to your, your apps and you create a new app. I already have one created for this application. So as soon as you create that application, just give it any name you like. Go down in the, over, in the overview section, go right down to the bottom and then you pick up your app ID, your, your key and your secret. And then in your .env file, you just set that up. Okay. The next thing we have to take care of for our real-time broadcasting is a package called Lavo Echo and this is simply going to help us to seamlessly integrate real-time into application which I'll explain in a later lesson. So just go ahead and say npm install Lavo Echo and save that to your dependencies. So that's going to install Echo. Now after Echo is installed, the next thing you have to do in your bootstrap.js file, right down at the bottom, you have echo that is already uncommented out. So you have to remove the comments so that echo is activated. So we'll import echo from Lavo echo, the package we just installed, and we're just gonna let this function. Okay, so Lavo echo is completely installed. Now the last piece of the puzzle for our broadcasting would be in our app.php file. And right here we are going to activate a, a, a service provider which is by default unactivated which is our broadcast service provider so right here you're just gonna uncomment this and we're gonna be explaining all of this in a later lesson so now our broadcasting is set up so we can now use real time in our applications the last channel we have to take care of is the database channel so right here for the database what we are gonna do is simply publish a migration from our Lavo from our Lavo directory and we publish this by saying php add sun notification and table. So now this command created a migration and if we run php artisan migrate, it's going to migrate this migration to our database. So the migration table has been created for us and this is just going to store our notifications and the data that we want to store into our database.